Coming up next on NCC News, two New Zealanders arrested over fast food. That and more after the break. Good afternoon and welcome to NCC News. I'm Tim Nolan. And I'm Sam Gelfand. Here's what's happening at 4.30. President Joe Biden made his first address at the United Nations this morning. His speech before world leaders comes at a critical time for his administration. NCC's Gael Phobes is here in the studio to break it down. The COVID-19 pandemic reached another grim milestone today. The virus is now the deadliest outbreak in recent American history. NCC's Brandon Moore has more on the story. Cherries is introducing a new ice cream flavor called Change is Brewing as part of their efforts to support racial justice. This limited edition flavor features cold brew ice cream, marshmallow swirls, and fudge brownies. Ben & Jerry says part of the proceeds will go to groups advocating for public safety and people of color. And now we're heading right to weather. Law enforcement is still searching for the boyfriend of 22-year-old Gabby Petito, whose body was found Sunday in a Wyoming national park. Authorities believe Brian Laundrie may be hiding in a nature preserve 30 minutes south of Sarasota, Florida. Police combed the preserve over the weekend without success, but are trying again after searching Laundrie's home yesterday. Laundrie and Petito took a cross-country road trip over the summer, but only Laundrie returned on September 1st. FBI agents discovered what they believe is Petito's body within Grand Teton National Park on Sunday. The FBI asks anyone with information regarding the case or Laundrie's whereabouts to call 1-800-CALL-FBI. Coming up on NCC News, a volcanic eruption on a Spanish island shows no signs of cooling off. We'll tell you everything you need to know. Stick around. And finally, in world news, two New Zealand men were caught defying Auckland's strict lockdown to feed a criminal craving. The alleged gang associates traveled 75 miles with three buckets of chicken, 10 containers of coleslaw, and four bags of other items from KFC. Police also found the equivalent of 70,000 U.S. dollars when searching the car. The two men face up to six months in prison for violating Auckland's stay-at-home order, which has shuttered all its restaurants. I'm Tim Nolan. And I'm Sam Gelfand. Have a great night, wherever you may be.